this question is talking about x and y, which apparently are basically exactly the same two-digit numbers except in reverse order. So for example, 38 and 83. Now, as I explained in my book, for a question like this, it's a good idea to just use a and b to represent the digits. And so we could say that x is 10a plus b, and y would be 10b plus a. Now, when they talk about adding them together, you'd have 10a plus b plus 10b plus a for a total of 11 of each, 11a plus 11b. And since a and b are positive integers between 1 and 9, by the way, they can't be 0 because if one of them were 0, then one of our numbers would be a single digit number, and we're told that they're two digit numbers. So neither a nor b is 0. They're both positive integers between 1 and 9, and so 11 times the sum a plus b has to be a multiple of 11. Based on that logic, I'm going to go ahead and pick answer choice D and move on to the next question. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.